Less than an hour ago, President Trump seen for the first time since announcing he has contracted COVID-19. He was headed to Marine One on his way to Walter Reed Medical Center. As the president walked across the lawn, he gave a thumbs up to the camera. Late last night, the president tweeted, he and the first lady, Melania Trump, have tested positive. Trump now 74 years old. We start with ABC News reporter Elizabeth Schultz. Tonight, President Trump is at Walter Reed Hospital. Sources telling ABC the the president is experiencing fever, chills, and congestion. The White House calling the symptoms mild and saying the president will be working there out of an abundance of caution. Tonight, the White House announcing that President Trump is still suffering mild symptoms, but has been transferred to Walter Reed Hospital out of an abundance of caution. And at the recommendation of his physician and medical experts, the president will be working from the presidential offices at Walter Reed for the next few days. The White House physician saying the president is being treated with an 8-gram dose of Regeneron's antibody cocktail. The announcement that President Trump tested positive coming hours after news broke that one of his most trusted aides, Hope Hicks, had become infected. I fully expect uh, that as this virus continues to go on, other people in the White House will certainly uh, 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 have a, a positive test result. The president's chief of staff saying Trump is in good spirits, but sources tell ABC News the president did not participate in a scheduled call this afternoon about COVID-19 with seniors. Vice President Mike Pence stepping in instead. The vice president's spokesperson confirming Pence tested negative today. Also with a negative test result, former Vice President Joe Biden, who was on stage with President Trump during Tuesday night's debate. My wife Jill and I prayed that they'll make a quick and full recovery. Some pointing to this Rose Garden ceremony Saturday for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett as a possible source of the infection. There was little social distancing and mask wearing at the event, and at least four people in attendance have tested positive for the virus. Top aides also tell ABC News they observed the president not feeling his best after a rally in Minnesota Wednesday night, saying he appeared exhausted and fatigued. Hello, Duluth. Oh, thank you. The president has been heavily criticized for repeatedly downplaying the severity of the virus. It affects virtually nobody. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. Trump, at 74 years old and overweight, has often said he feels no vulnerability to the virus, even making fun of Biden for wearing a mask at Tuesday's debate. I don't, have to, I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. But today, even the man with the best medical care in the world could not be shielded from the virus that has claimed the lives of more than 208,000 Americans. A White House official tells ABC News the president has not transferred power to Vice President Mike Pence at this time. In Washington, Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News. Back to you.